So top of the skinny this morning, a couple of celebrity wedding announcements. And first up, Charlize Theron and Sean Penn, Us Weekly, reporting that the happy couple dating only for eight months will tie the knot this summer in South Africa. That's where Penn, who's 53, is directing the 38-year-old actress. They're working on a love story called The Last Face. And that's not all. The couple also reportedly says they want to adopt a baby shortly after they recite their vows. Well, next up, more wedding news for you. Well, we just yesterday reported about Danica McKellar's union, reunion with her fellow Wonder Years cast members. And now the actress and math whiz has tweeted out the news of her own engagement to boyfriend Scott Veslowski. And she's showing off her hunk there, The Rock. <laughs> McKellar's dancing with the star's partner this past season, Val Chmerkowski, had said earlier that he owed this mysterious Scott person a thank you for letting him dance with his beautiful girlfriend. Ah, and there they are. There you go. Good news on both sides. Well, next, how hammered is hammered? Well, it's an existential question that can really only be answered by a great mind like Charlie Sheen. Check out this video obtained by TMZ of the actor staggering out of his car at a Taco Bell drive through He's greeting a fan there who called him over. Listen. What's your name? Jaden. Yeah, I'm Charlie. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're cool, man. Hi, Charlie. How are you? Well, it's not clear exactly where and when this happened, but it does not look like Charlie's was actually Charlie was actually driving. It hit typically a, like a chauffeur driven Benz. It was clearly in the background, though. All right, some video there showing his chest. All right. Well, next, hopping from the stage back to the small screen is actor Brian Cranston. The Breaking Bad star is reprising his Broadway role as Lyndon B. Johnson on HBO. All the Way was named Best Play at the Tonys last month, where Cranston took home a trophy for his performance. It's a great show. The show also broke Broadway box office records. It grossed over $1.4 million over eight performances, more than any play ever brought over a single week. Good for him. Oh, I loved him in Breaking Bad. I would totally go see it. I'm glad HBO picked this up because I'm so into him. But I, it's kind of weird looking at him without the bald head. That's right. I still have difficulty. <laughs> and keeping up with Weird Al. And we're now on day three of Weird Al's epic return to the spotlight. He's released the latest parody from his new album, Mandatory Fun. This one is spoofing Lord's Royals. Call it Foil. I just like to keep all my flavors sealed in tight with aluminum foil. foil. Never settle for less. That kind of rap is just the best. Weird Al's promising nice eight new music videos in eight days, and we can't wait to see what's next. We'll bring it to you tomorrow. And it's time now to check out our celebrity birthdays. We're blowing out the candles today. Actress and singer Diana Carroll turned 79. Actor Donald Sutherland turned 79 today. David Hasselhoff turned 62. And Dancing with the Stars' Tony DeVolani turns 41. Happy birthday to one and all.